Hi everyone, welcome back to the Flying Monk talk show. I'm Alex Cosmer. Today's topic is the hacker martial arts system of uh, Chuka Phoenix Ifist, and this is an art that was brought from China to Penang, Malaysia by Grandmaster Li Xiong Pao, who we can see here. And Grandmaster Li taught the art to the present day uh, Grandmaster Cheong Cheng Leong. And it was uh, Sifu Cheong who co wrote a book with Don Drager, who we can see on the far right here. And next to Don Drager is Sifat Tan, another famous Chuka exponent. And uh, Grandmaster Cheong Cheng Leong then taught Stephen Cho, who is the subject of today's interview. Stephen Cho is an extremely skilled uh, exponent of this martial art, and we have co-written a book together, published by Line of Intent Books, uh, on the hacker fighting art of Chuka Phoenix Ifist, which covers lots of the theory, principles, techniques, healing art, the uh, philosophy, the history, and different aspects of the Chuka Phoenix Ifis system. So let's go to Penang, Malaysia and join Sifu Stephen Cho. Uh, Chuka is specialized in uh, close body and short strikes. We will find opportunity to close the gap and move in to stick to the opponent body and arm. With this, uh, we will have full control of him and we can use trapping and continuous strikes. Phoenix Eye Fist is the, the, the main weapon, weapon of Chuka and uh, we have some secret ways to train, to train it. One of the ways is to train it, train it with a Choi Ba or, or we call it a striking, a striking pads. The Choi Ba consists of uh, five uh, striking pads which represent five different uh, vital points of a human body. Training this will help to condition the phoenix eye fist and also help to develop the accuracy and the impact. Chuka is the first martial art that I have started to learn in year 2000 when I was uh, 16 years, years old. My grand uncle Sifu Chong Choi taught Cho family Wing Chun in Penang. Uh, he passed away when I was very young. When I was at the age of uh, 16, my grandmother approached a senior student of Sifu Chong Choi. Uh, his name is Achai, uh, who is a butcher at the uh, Ayutam market. Uh, my grandmother asked him to teach me the Cho family Wing Chun Kung Fu. But uh, Achai uh, refused to teach me because he said he has been applied in Kung Fu for a long time. Then he rec recommended me to learn from si Sifu Yong Kam Chiong, who was a more senior student of uh, Sifu Chong Choi. And when I approached uh, Sifu Yong, uh, he said that. Uh, he was too old to teach me and because at the time he was around um, 80 plus years old and has retired from teaching Kung Fu. And then my grandmother went back to talk to Achai. Uh, Achai has recommended Sifu Chong Zheng Leong to me. As I said that my grand uncle Sifu Chong Choi uh, mentioned that uh, Sifu Chong's uh, Chuka Kung Fu is very good and he recommended me to learn from Sifu Chiong. Uh, other than Chuka Kung Fu, I also learned Li Xun Kan Karate from Master Kui Jin Heng and uh, Yip Man Wing Chun from uh, Sifu Lam Peng Hong who was the uh, student of uh, Grandmaster Choi Xiong Tin. Um, Choi Xiong Tin was the, the uh, student of uh, Yip Man. And then uh, I, also, I also have the opportunity to learn from uh, Sifu Chan Kin Wa, who is the uh, grand student of uh, Grandmaster uh, Zhao Ji Chun, uh, the student of uh, Yip Man. Then I, uh, I learned Yang Star Tai Chi from uh, Chuka Senior. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Yo Tian Sun. 
and then I also went to learn Muay Thai from a uh, 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 crew Songsa in Thailand. Sifu Chong is very well known for his uh, good Kung Fu skin Penang and everyone know that he is a very good fighter. Uh, Sifu Chong's uh, training back in those days was very strict and tough. He demanded all the techniques and structures to be perfect. Uh, it scolded us uh, when we did something that was violating the Chuka principles. The classes uh, were held on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8.30pm to 11pm. I have attended 3 classes per week and I train at least 2 hours per day at home. Uh, Sifu Chiong has very, th that time, uh, Sifu Chiong has very high expectation to uh, Sinyu and me compared to others. Um, Sinyu is my uh, training partner and also my junior at my C time. Uh, Sifu Chiong has very high expectation to us because we train very hard and obey every single instruction in his training. Uh, uh, Sifu taught us more uh, compared to others in the class uh, such as we learn more new forms frequ uh, more frequently. Uh, he praised us as fast learners and we also have uh, uh, Sifu Chiang to teach junior st students in the class for, for many years. I heard about my Si Gong uh, Lei Hong Biu uh, or Li Song Biao stories from uh, my Sifu, Sifu Chong Cheng Leong and, and my Sipa. He was one of uh, the Si Zhou, uh, Wu Ping Guang's most outstanding student. Uh, he's, he was a live-in student who did the housework for uh, Si Zhou, uh, Wu Ping Guang, in the day and uh, underwent hard training of the fundamental skills of Chuka in the morning and evening. He trained himself uh, extremely hard and uh, was known as a tough fighter with fierce temper. He has uh, seriously injuring other martial artists in the challenges and uh, in an occasion he has badly wounded the Si Zhou son, son in the free fighting as a punishment and to teach him a strong lesson. Si Zhou uh, used a long hardwood pole to strike his right index finger and foot and uh, crippling him in those places. Uh, si Gong Lei Hong Biu has uh, migrated to Penang in the year of uh, 1930. He was running a, a, a traditional Chinese medicine uh, clinic in his house in Ayetan, Penang. And uh, apart from this, he also formally taught Chuka Kung Fu to the public at the same place and uh, as we know that uh, challenges among Kung Fu Sifu was uh, very common uh, during that time. Uh, si Gong has carved his name as a very, very great fighter in Penang since he had won every challenges that came to challenge him. Uh, all the old uh, Kung Fu Sifu in Penang know about Si Gong Li and his well known fighting, fighting skill. <clears throat> uh, one of the unique characteristics of Chuka is the usage of uh, uh, Phoenix Eye Fist. Chuka, uh, Chuka uses uh, Phoenix Eye Fist as its primary weapon and hence it is a very dangerous system. Another characteristic of Chuka is the short distance shocking power whereby we can generate maximum force in a very short distance. Imagine that when we combine Phoenix Eye Fist and the short uh, distance shocking power, the result is very destructive. Uh, since Juga is a Hakka star, it shares some similarities with other Hakka systems such as some uh, hand techniques and uh, the application of a Phoenix Eye Fist. Basically, uh, it is a definition of four directions force, or we call it Sei Geng. So, uh, swallow, sink, float, spit means uh, uh, 
吞吐浮沉，浮沉吐索。It means、uh, up, down, forward and backward forces. So, so this is the four directions. If we if we understand the four directions force, we can maximize power generation by combining two direction forces into one action. Uh, instead of this,、uh, we can use it to neutralize、uh, opponent force and redirect it and use it against、uh, the opponent. It is a very deep、uh, knowledge in in Juka. Uh, I will classify the first、uh, three forms of juga as the key forms in juga.、Uh, the first form, the first form is the Hoi San Kuen in Cantonese, or we better known it as uh, 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 Kai San Kuen in Mandarin. It means、uh, opening the mountain face.、Uh, the second form is、uh, is twenty four points, and in Cantonese we call it as Yi Sub Sei Tim. The third form is a twenty-four points open flower, and in Cantonese we call it we call it as Yi Sub Sei Tim, Hoi Fa. The Hoi San Kuen is basically to train the steppings of Juga and some basic、uh, hand techniques. The second form, a twenty-four、uh, points Yi Sub Sei Tim, are mainly de derived from the White Crane Kung Fu, and、uh, it has only hand techniques. And no kicking techniques.、Uh, it is almost similar to the purpose of a sanjin in, in karate or a white crane.、Uh, it help to uh, uh, helps to、uh, develop the internal shocking power, powerful uh, bridge uh, power, and、uh, four direction energies development. The seiking, the fao cham tou sao. And also using the body weight sinking to generate a、uh, shocking power. <coughs> and、uh, from this、uh, Yi Sub Sei team,、uh, we also learn how to use the full uh, uh, body structure force. The third form is、uh, Yi Sub Sei team Hoi Fa.、Uh, it is almost sim similar to the second form Yi Sub Sei team,、uh, just that Yi Sub Sei team Hoi Fa has added some kicks. Together with the hand techniques,、uh, this helps to、uh, develop the shadow shadowless kick of a、uh, chuka. The shadowless kick means that、uh, we use、uh, our hand techniques together with、uh, low kicks. The opponent will not aware of the kick and it seems to be shadowless. The fighting skill is、uh, developed through a few phases. The most important is the correct alignment and the angle of each techniques in execution, and also the whole body structure power.、Uh, secondly,、uh, we need to be loose and able to generate powerful shocking, po、uh, powerful shocking, zing、uh, uh, or power, and also、uh, develop sensitivity of opponent force and.、Uh, Neutralize it. We train in a mo sao, or touching hand, or we can call it as a chi sao. From here, we train to sense the opponent force. Uh, change and、uh, the changes of the opponent uh, hand uh, technique, and、uh, and then we we react according to the the changes、uh, to tackle the opponent move. So uh, uh, in short,、uh, we need to change faster than、uh, the opponent change. We will apply all、uh, chuka hand techniques in this exercise in order to enable us、uh, to use it in practical.、Uh, after that,、uh, 
we were trained to uh, enter from a long distance because in real fight it will not start in a short uh, close uh, distance like in uh, Mao Sao or Chi Sao distance. I heard about my Sikong uh, Grandmaster Lei Hong Biu and his skill from uh, my Sifu uh, Zhong Xing Leong and his seniors, uh, which is which um, my Sipa. Uh, based on uh, Sifu Jiao and his student, uh, his seniors, uh, my Sipa, uh, Grandmaster Li Juga has some differences compared to the Juga taught by taught by my uh, Sifu Sifu Jiao. Uh, based on Sifu Chiao and my Sipa, uh, Grandmaster Li, uh, Chuga form was trained in a um, uh, relaxed and a slow way. Uh, Sifu Chiao said that he has changed form training to be fast and fierce. Uh, as we know that uh, different people has different opinion and characteristic of Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Changes in Kung Fu is, uh, is, is very normal. So Sifu Chiang has his special way to make himself a very great fighter. And uh, I've decided to train in uh, Grandmaster Lee's way and also Sifu Chiang's way. I have asked Sifu Chiang and uh, Sipa about how they train in uh, uh, Grandmaster Lee's class and from there uh, I train it. Many of uh, Sifu Chiang students do not know about the difference between uh, Grandmaster Lee and uh, Sifu Chiang teaching, and they have just trained in uh, Sifu Chiang's way. After years of training, I notice that I'm more loose, relaxed, and my techniques are more in a circular motion, and not using force against force and having great sensitivity, sensitivity of opponent force compared to uh, other students that did not train in Grandmaster Lee's way. So one of the advantage uh, is uh, able to execute inch shocking power by using utilizing whole body structure because uh, I'm loose. Personally, I, I feel that uh, these are the components that a female Kung Fu system should look like. and. Uh, a uh, female kung fu system should be should be loose, uh, not using force to force and using minimum force against uh, a big force, and uh, using minimum force to generate a uh, big impact. Uh, Chuka has many weapons, uh, such as a uh, pole, spear, farmer hole, iron ruler, and uh, butterfly knife. Uh, the iron ruler is, uh, is better known as Sai in uh, Okinawa and Japanese uh, martial art. Uh, the most important weapon in Chuka is the pole. Uh, Chuka uh, practitioner is, is specialized in the pole fighting and the pole, pole technique. Uh, one of my Sipa, uh, Sipa Tan Hun Boy, was a famous uh, Tita physician in Penang. Chuka uh, has a special uh, slapping treatment to cure uh, muscular skeletal injuries. Uh, especially the old injuries that are hardly to be cured uh, by people. The old injury has blood uh, clot uh, that prevent good blood circulation and that is the root cause of the pain. So by slapping at the affected area, the blood clot, the blood clot can be removed and we will see scar appears at the surface of the skin which is uh, similar to the effect of uh, Kwasa therapy. Uh, I'm a, a registered Tita physician in, in Penang, Malaysia, and uh, I have cured uh, many uh, chronic pain uh, such as such as a frequent uh, shoulder dislocate, dislocation, uh, ankle pain due to the due to old uh, sprain injury, chronic knee pain, back pain, 
and many more by uh, using Chuka uh, uh, slapping method. As we know that uh, Kung Fu will be slightly changed uh, from one generation to the next generation. So I am researching how was the original Chuka of the nun and the two uh, Chu sisters because they were female and uh, physically weaker compared to me. So they must be using some very effective way of fighting with uh, very minimum force. Instead of this, uh, I am researching uh, how to evolve Chuka to be more effective in real fight. As we know that all the martial artists are improving and if we stop at a point and think that we are the best, then we will have the disadvantage. We train in uh, Zhan Zhuang or, or in Cantonese we call it as uh, Zham Zhuang in the advanced stage of Chuka. Uh, Sifu Chiang has only taught this to uh, less than 10 uh, senior students as uh, this is the secret of the advanced power development in Chuka. Sikong Li has mentioned before, if you don't have time to train the forms, uh, we can skip the form training. But we must skip the, the, the Zhan Zhuang training because uh, it helps to develop the internal power. Uh, now we have more than one group of people teaching the same lineage of uh, Chuka in Penang. They are from the same lineage of uh, Grandmaster Le Hong Piu. Uh, one of the groups uh, is mine. Uh, I have named mine as the Phoenix Fist to differentiate uh, mine. Uh, one of the ways to identify the traditional and authentic uh, Chuka is the principle of the sinking elbow. When we execute the phoenix eye punch, we will have the elbow pointing downward. If we see any people who claim to be the Sifu and expert of this system, but they violated the sinking elbow principle by having the elbow pointing to the side when punching, then uh, it is not the real Chuka way. And I would say that he's a very poor Chuka practitioner. Then the real Chuka practitioner and expert will have elastic short distance shocking power. If uh, someone claims to be the Sifu or expert of Chuka but he is stiff, uh, using brute force and unable to execute short distance shocking power in about maximum half foot, then he does not have the real Chuka system. Uh, finally, if uh, someone can't explain uh, the techniques and details of Chuka, then he does not have the real Chuka system and is not qualified to teach Chuka to anyone. originated from Southern Southern Temple. The uh, abbot Ji uh, Xin has a sister who was a nun. The nun li name was Liu Fa in Cantonese or Liao Fa in uh, Mandarin. Ji Xin taught Southern Southern Kung Fu to his sister Liu Fa and uh, we believe that Liu Fa was an expert in White Crane Kung Fu. White Crane Kung Fu is a mainstream Kung Fu in Fujian uh, province. Due to the attack and the burning down of the Southern Southern Temple by the Manchurian armies, she has escaped to the White Crane Cave at Hepo, Guangdong. Hepo, Hepo is a, a place with a majority of Hakka population, or in Cantonese we call it uh, Ho Pong. Uh, one day, uh, Liu was passing uh, by a village and she saw two abandoned babies. Both were girls. Then she found that their parents were the descendants of the Ming dynasty and their surname uh, is uh, Chu. Chu is the, the surname of the Ming dynasty royal family. Their parents were involved in the underground society uh, which is the Tin Tai Wui uh, which was seeking to overthrow the ruling uh, Qing dynasty. Both of them has, had been killed by the Qing soldiers. The two sisters were, were Zhu Miao Ying and Zhu Miao Nuan Ruan. 
both of them were were, were adopted by the nun. Uh, then the nun taught them the new system that was invented by by her. The, the inspiration of the new system was from the observation of the praying mantis defended itself from the bird attack. The new system has the advantage in close uh, distance uh, fighting with the, the hand trapping, uh, continuous attacks and uh, uh, using the phoenix eye fist as the main deadly hand weapon uh, for the wider point, uh, pressure point or uh, uh, striking. And the most importantly is the um, the concept of a yin yang in the technique execution, such as borrowing and make use of uh, opponent force, and not to use force against force, since this system was designed by female, which is physically weaker and smaller to fight with a uh, man, which is physically stronger and bigger. Uh, in an occurrence, both of the two sisters have participated in a secret mission by the underground society, Tin Tei Wui, to overthrow the Qing dynasty. Unfortunately, both of them ha have lost their life in the mission. In order to appreciate and remember the contribution of both the two sisters to the Han people and the new Kung Fu system, the teacher Liu Fat has named the system as Ju Ga Kun or Ju Ga Gao. Um, I'm the sixth generation of the Chuka uh, lineage. Uh, so the first generation is Nan Liu Fat. The second generation is the two uh, uh, sisters, uh, Chu sisters, Zhu uh, Miao Ying and Zhu Miao Ruan. Uh, the third generation is uh, Wu Ping Guang. The fourth generation is my Si Gong, uh, Li Xiong Biao or Li Hong Biao in Cantonese. And he brought Chuka to Penang in year Penang, Malaysia in year 1930. And then my Sifu is a uh, Sifu Chiang Zheng Leong. Uh, he's the fifth generation and I'm, I'm the sixth generation. So in uh, February 2016, I have named my, my Chuka as uh, the Phoenix Fist in order to differentiate uh, my style with other Chu family uh, Kung Fu uh, in this world because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, true family kung fu around around the world. Now a lot of youngsters in Penang uh, do not like to learn kung fu. They feel that it's very tired and uh, hard to be learned. Kung fu schools in Penang has problem of recruiting uh, students. Um, I'm willing to teach anyone from any countries in order to continue to pass down the chuka knowledge to the next generation.